Hey guys and guys, what's going on and welcome to another episode of Plymouth Argyle's Surviving Relegation. Uh, this has changed from a rise to glory to a scraping the barrel to see if we can survive relegation. Now, looking at the league, you think that we're doing okay, but we're picking up. We're at the point now where we're just picking up the odd draws, the odd wins, and it is just tough. Really bloody tough at the moment. So, um, let's have a look. So, without mucking around, without keeping you waiting any longer, let's take a little look at some of the results and some of the games we've played since you left that, that since you last left us so i'm pretty sure we played the tottenham game where we lost one nil we actually then won a couple of games i thought we should have won two of these three games against norwich and leeds but we actually beat everton 2 0 at home uh facundo and callum right we then beat forest at home 3-0 Namdi Collins, Yusuf Shimiti got his first goal of the season at that point and his only goal. And Facundo as well. We then lost 1-0 at home to Leeds, who were 19th at the time, which is definitely a game we should have been winning. But yeah, we flopped out and they, they managed to nick it in the 42nd minute. We then beat Manchester United at home, 2-0. I guess Manchester United just went up for it or they played a weakened squad, but we managed to come away with a 1-0 win. Then went up to Liverpool and lost 3-1. And then remote, more recently, we've lost 2-0 at home to Brighton, thanks to two goals from Facundo Torres. Brighton have got a couple of players called Facundo, haven't they? They've got the one I've got on loan, and they've got that one. So that leads us straight up to the Fulham away, and we'll do Bournemouth home as well, which is on the TV. Boop, 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 boop. And hopefully we can pick up a couple of results there. I'm hoping in the second half of the season we've got plenty of home games. Home, away, home, home, away, home, away, home, away, home away home yeah we've got more home games seemingly in the second half of the season it seems like we played loads of away games but we are coming up to the halfway point of the season ish league wise we are currently sat in 10th now i know at the intro i was panicking a little bit but we're only 10 points ahead and everything can change so quickly so 18 games played things can turn so let's hope for some result today a draw would cut the mustard, I feel. I feel if we can get a draw away to Fulham and then win the game against Bournemouth, then 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 that would do us the world of good. So I will name a starting eleven, and I'll be right back with you. So I feel going in, this is our best eleven, going in away at Fulham. Etienne Green and Goal, who's developed fantastically. He's been, I'd say, my best player this season. And hopefully he can keep on rising and getting better and become an even better player for us. We've got Steven Session on the right back. Roll out at centre back with Namdi Collins. Hayden Roberts left back. Kanna, who have changed to a defensive midfielder. I've had him on ball winning, but his form is so shocking. We'll change him and see what he does. Callum Wright in the middle due to injuries. Although, I am going to put Garrett in there. I just want a bit more bite. Garrett can go in the middle for Kunda, Whitaker, Perea. And Ivan up front for the injured Yusuf Shimiti. Uh, Whitaker will come in for honour her as he's as he's not really done a lot. We will give it away with that. Away to Fulham. Good luck, lads. Let's see if we can put an end to our run of recent bad performances. As we travel away to Fulham. Who are close to us. It's tight. It's four points behind. Green makes a good save. But Fulham have come out of the blocks. Just kind of makes a challenge and gets an interception. Brings it forward. Switches it to Ivan. Nods it to Perea. We've got Riyad Mahrez, unbelievable. <clears throat> Fulham have got Riyad Mahrez. As they have another opportunity, it's all Fulham. And Mahrez test screen again. Boys, you need to wake up. You're just getting dominated. The 
Again, another highlight for Fulham. And it's a goal. Of course, it's going to be a fucking goal. For fuck. Come on, lads. Let's fire up. Nothing from you. Just letting them run away with this shit. The piss poor pass from Garrett. No, that's not what I wanted. Stop it. And come off. I don't like him. He's going. He's got to go in January. Come on. Something, boys. We've not had a highlight, have we? Or half. Not one single highlight. Another highlight for Fulham. Right on the depth of death, death of half time. Callum Wright can't do anything with it. And Mitrovic with the header over the bar. Frustrating. Frustrating. We've been dominated. What was that? Get your fucking axe together. Not making any more substitutes from there. Come on, lads. Intercept it. Collins. Perea gives it away again. God's sake, Perea. I don't know when he's going to become a Premier League's ability, but I don't think it's going to be any time soon. I don't recall a game where we've been 1-0 down and we've come back this entire season. So I hold no hope. If we go 1-0 down, we're fucked. It's as simple as that. Shimiti, I mean, it's, I'm going to bring him on just because <clears throat> he's must. But he ain't done jack shit all season, so I'm not expecting anything. Come on, lads. Let's go for it. Attacking. We want to the last 20 minutes, haven't we? Oh, she may misses the header. Of course he does. Absolutely weak, lads. Weak, 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 weak. Fucking dog shit. Absolutely shit. No goal, we just don't score. I don't know how I'm going to stop this, neither. <clears throat> right, I'm going to go to the board and see if there's any chance they can give me any money. I just, 
I need to try and find a way to be able to loan in some better players or do something. This fall is just going to keep happening. Um, club vision. Increase the wage budget. Yeah, I know. Just that's a bit annoying. I wish I could turn that off. I'm really annoyed, but we'll go to the, get to the Bournemouth game and we'll be back for that. I'll see you in a sec. So, gang, we are back at the Bournemouth game. Full of hope. Not really. Full of a bit of trepidation. But we've had some good news in the week uh, heading to. The board have given us 13 million to try and pull out some transfers and do something or another to maybe change the fortunes at or in January, should I say. But just looking at all these amazing youngsters down here. who are rated high star. It makes me want to just get all these instead. But I need to, to be sensible. These can all go onto my shortlist for sure. Anyway, we will look to get on with the Bournemouth game. And I will make some transfers in the January and see what we can do to improve the squad. So it looks like Schmidt is still struggling. Whitaker did absolutely nothing. Martinez is still injured as well. Hannibal still injured. So we've got a few players missing. But we will go with that as our starting eleven. Green, Sessegnon, Rolout. I can never pronounce his name right. Collins, Hayden Roberts, Kana, Callum Wright, Facundo, Onahan, Perea and Ivan up front. As we look to see if we can get anything against bottom of the league Bournemouth. Come on lads. Please. We need a result. We really, really badly need a result. Let's go. Ten minutes gone. And drop a little bit of encouragement. Oh, it was quiet, but we're having the the majority. But a goal would not go amiss at all. A bit more encouragement. Back in what I thought would be three of my better players going in as well. We are slightly weakened. Yes. Oh, and Henrik Perea. <coughs> with his first goal of the season. Yes. Ivan on the right. Onahan skips it inside. Facundo to Perea. And he taps it into that post to make it 1-0 to Plymouth. So I'm going to flick it down to positive so I'm not so exposed at the back. Because I'm prone to concede a goal. Not many. We don't get drubbed. I think you're doing well, but I think you can take charge of this game. Not the most exciting game overall. Highlights aren't a cropping up and popping up. Ten a penny. But. Unlucky prayer. Just couldn't get onto the long ball. Jose Sar turned us down to go to. Oh, and it's a good ball to Solanke and Tori over the top. And Argyle need to make sure that they're staying awake. Facundo with the free kick to the back post. Anti roulette. Rose at the back post to make it 2 0 to Plymouth. And Facundo with the assist. No, not cautious. Go 
Emperor is struggling. Cameron was unlucky, just couldn't get to the challenge. Collins was covering, but his clearance was up and not away. I'm sorry, Cecil. I'm just going to have to stick this out. Atkinson's with a great ball to Perea. Oh, last season he was he was knocking them in the far post. Freddie can play right back. Crazy. His versatility, really, he can play everywhere. So, happy. We are 2 0 up. And that's good. What does that take us on to points? 27 points. I still think another 11 points for safety. Yes, we needed that so badly. Whew, I'm not going to go too ecstatic. I'm just going to say nice win. Well done, boys. Let's move on to the next one and hopefully get a point or something from that. I'm saying that's Man City home. So, hmm. <laughs> no chance. So, we will be back after those couple of games. 50-50. I, I did think I said that before we started this episode. That if I can get one win from either one of these games and I would be happy so we will look to be back I think what we'll do is we'll flip reverse it so we'll come back for the Rotherham game and then the Fulham home so I will see you in three games time I'll probably be wearing the same clothes because I'll just be doing the same stream so I will see you at the Rotherham game for the third round of the FA Cup oh, I know this is a frustrating series it's frustrating for me as well or a frustrating season should I say but hopefully with a bit of luck we can we can get to that magic 38 points and then whatever happens after that is kind of irrelevant. Because I think 38 points should be enough to keep us in the Premier League. <laughs> I mean, I hope. So, yeah, let's pray and hope we can get to that. If you've watched this far, thank you very much as always. We will be back for the FA Cup third round against Rotherham and the home game against Fulham. Hopefully we might have a transfer or two by then as well to update you on. So that might be decent as well. So thank you very much for watching as always. Comment, like, subscribe, all the rest of it. Join me on Twitch because we are further ahead on Twitch as I keep saying. But we are. So if you check this out and fancy getting involved in the live streams, come and join me over on Twitch as well. Much love from me. Peace. Mm -hmm.